Hi, welcome to our telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin, and this video is on KDML, or KIDMAP is another name for it, which is melatonin liquid. So melatonin is the natural hormone your body secretes that helps to maintain your wake sleep cycle, also called the biological clock. The wake sleep cycle is the process of sleep and wakefulness. In humans, this averages eight hours of nighttime sleep and 16 hours of daytime activity. So how does melatonin work? Natural melatonin is a highly lipid soluble hormone produced in the penile gland in the brain. It is synthesized from the amino acid tryptophan and then released into the blood and cerebrospinal fluid, crossing the blood brain barrier. It sends messages to the receptor agonists in the brain and other areas of the body to help control the sleep and wake cycles. So, why is it important for your child to take this medicine? Poor sleep can affect your child's physical health, mood, behavior, and development. Melatonin is used to help regulate the sleep pattern of children. Melatonin may help your child to get into a regular sleep pattern. So when should you give melatonin? Melatonin is best given once a day, between half an hour and an hour before the child's agreed bedtime. Give the medicine at about the same time each day so that this becomes part of the child's daily routine, which will help you to remember. So how much do you give? Your doctor will work out the amount of melatonin or the dose that is right for your child. The dose will be shown on the dispensing label. Your doctor will probably recommend that your child has a low dose to start with and may increase the dose until your child's sleep problems have improved. Normally the dose will never exceed 10 mg a day. And this mel the melatonin can be mixed in orange juice to make it easier for the child to take. So when should the medicine start working? Melatonin should start to make your child feel sleepy about half an hour to an hour after taking the dose. So what if the child gets sick or vomits? If your child is sick less than 30 minutes after having a dose of melatonin, give them the same dose again. If your child is sick more than 30 minutes after having a dose of melatonin, do, you do not need to give them another dose that night. What if you forget to give a dose? If you miss a dose and your child is already asleep, wait until the next day and give the normal dose as usual. If your child is awake, you can give them their normal dose. So what if you give too much? If you think you may have given your child too much melatonin, contact your doctor for further advice and take the medicine container or package with you, even if it's empty, as this will be useful for the doctor to see the medicine that's been given. Are there any possible side effects? Rarely, melatonin can cause problems with your child's heart. If your child develops a severe chest pain or a fast heart rate, they may have a fluttering feeling in their chest or feel their heart beating fast. Contact your doctor straight away to take your, or take your child to the hospital. If your child seems very unwell in any way that is unusual for them and you are concerned, then take them to the hospital. Other side effects you need to know about. Your child may feel dizzy or nervous, or may have stomach pain. You may, they may develop a rash and an itch. And if you're concerned about any of these side effects, contact your doctor for further advice. Can other medicines be given at the same time as melatonin? You can give your child medicine containing paracetamol or ibuprofen, unless your doctor has told you not to. So check with your doctor or pharmacist before giving any other medicines to your child. This includes herbal or complementary medicines. Is there anything else you need to know about melatonin? The treatment with melatonin is usually started by a specialist and then continued by the doctor. So general advice about medicines. Only give this medicine to your child. Never give it to anyone else, even if their condition appears to be the same, as this could do harm. If you think someone else may have taken the medicine by accident, contact your doctor immediately for advice. So where should you store the medicine? Keep the medicine in a cupboard, away from heat and direct sunlight. And children, it does not need to be kept in the fridge. Make sure children cannot see or reach the medicine and keep the medicine in the container it came in. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through my website, mytelehealth.info or call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas and Cork. 
or ring us on 0214366923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.